Hi students. So today I am going to explain the working principle of the potentiometer. So potentiometer it is a device to measure the EMF or the potential difference. So the working principle of the potentiometer is when a constant current flows through a conductor of uniform area of cross section, the potential drop across any length of the wire which is directly proportional to the length. So my potential drop V which is directly proportional to the length. So if I just replace this proportionality symbol by a constant, my V equals to K into L. So where K equals to V by L. So this K is called potential gradient. Potential gradient so potential gradient is nothing but potential drop per unit length so if you plot a graph between potential drop versus the length of the wire if i'm getting a linear curve so if you take the slope of the curve we are able to find the potential drop per unit length so middle pitch it is a wire of 10 meter so this is my meter pitch of 10 meter wire so from this end to this end it's a 1 meter so from here to here this starts from 0 this is my point a and this is my point b this starts from point a is 0 so this point is said to be 100 and this point is from start from 100 to 200 and the third line is 201 to 300 so 10 lines we have so the total length of this wire is said to be 10 meters or 1000 centimeter. So in the middle bridge, we have a 10 meter wires. So this is my point A and this is my point B. So this end of the meter bridge is connected with a, a battery eliminator and a key K1, this is a positive terminal, this is a negative terminal, then we have a <coughs> rheostat. So the rheostat uses to vary the current through the potential meter. So here if I connect this with a, a voltmeter is B. So if I'm measuring this length, this is my point J, this is my point of jockey, the distance from here to here is called your length. So if my length of the wire gets, the length of the point J gets increases, my potential drop across this also gets increases because this is parallel with this. So my V is directly proportional to the length of the wire. So sir, why we are going to take 10 meters? 10 meters. 10 meters is nothing but my 1000 centimeter. So if I write V divided by L, if I write my K equals to V divided by 1000 centimeter, I can get the accuracy of the potential drop up to third order. So to increase the level of accuracy or sensitivity of the potential meter, we are taking 10 meters. So using this potential meter, I am going to explain explain how to compare the EMF of the two cells. So this is my from point A, I am going to connect with a, a cell of EMF E1 and uh, they have another cell of EMF E2. So we have a two way key, this is my point 2, this is my point 3 and this is my point 1. So this is my two way key. So from this end of the key. We are going to connect this with a, a galvanometer and a jockey J. So first I am going to find the EMF of the cell 1, E1. So what I am going to do here, I am going to connect my 1 and 3. So I am going to connect my 1 and 3. So my E1 is connected with the galvanometer. So we already know the potential drop of this potentiometer is K. 
So if I place my jockey at this particular point, I am getting the positive deflection. If I place my jockey at this end, I am getting a negative deflection. So in between A and B, there is an equilibrium point. So I am going to slide my jockey slowly from A to B. So at a particular point, at a particular point, when my jockey placed here, my galvanometer shows null deflection, which means this length from A to D, the length from A to D is balancing length. So this is parallel with this. So the potential across potential drop across this length is balanced by the EMF of the cell. So I can simply write. my emf so for this loop a loop a e1 3 1 g d a so my emf of the first cell which is equals to potential drop per unit length into l1 so from the distance from a to d is my l1 so this is nothing but my balancing length so this potential is drop across this length sir next case so this is my equation one next case i'm going to open this connection i'm going to connect my two one one so now my e1 is not connected with my galvanometer my e2 is connected with the galvanometer 2 and 1 is connected so now i'm going to slide my jockey between a and b so i'm getting my balancing length somewhere here this is my point some e so the length from a to e is l2 so at point when my jockey when i when i place my jockey here i'm getting the zero deflection in my galvanometer, which means the length between A to E is balanced by the potential drop across this potential drop due to E2. So I can simply write for the loop A E2 2 1 G E A. So my L2 is nothing but my distance between A E. So I can simply write my em of e2 equals to potential drop per unit length times your l2 this is my equation 2 so this is my potential drop due to e1 this is my potential drop due to e2 so i may write em of i can simply write e1 by e2 equals to k times l1 by l2 k k gets cancelled Therefore, E1 by E2 equals to L1 by L2. If I know one of the EMF is already known value, so from this then from this experiment, I can find EMF of the one L1 by L2 into E2. So, using this potentiometer, we are able to find the EMF of the unknown cell. Now, I am going to explain how to find the internal resistance of the given cell of EMF of E. So to find the EMF of the cell, so I need a, the another resistance box is my variable resistor. So this is connected with a, a key K2 and this point is connected with the galvanometer and this galvanometer is connected with a, a jockey. So when my K2 is in open condition, my resistance box is not connected with this galvanometer. Only this cell of EMF is connected with me galvanometer. So, when my K2 is in open condition, K2 is in open condition. So, if I am sliding my jockey between A and B at a particular point of D, I am getting zero deflection in my galvanometer. So, 
my emf of this cell is balanced by this length so the potential drop across ad is balanced by emf of the cell so e equals to some k times l so this is my equation one so now i'm going to close my key k2 so when key k2 is closed condition so my recessive box is is connected with my galvanometer now i'm going to measure the balancing length now i'm going to slide my jockey between a and b so i'm getting null point is somewhere here is point my e so now with the, the resistance box value the resistance of this resistance box will be r so i'm getting null deflection at this particular point so the balancing length from a to e is l2 so here is l1 here from a to e is it be l2 so now now the system is in closed circuit then now this is called as a potential when the system is in open condition this is said to be emf when the system is in closed condition the system is said to be potential so v equals to k times l2 l2 is nothing but the distance between a to e now i'm going to compare equation 1 and 2 so e by b equals to k times l1 by k times l2 so this k and this k gets cancelled therefore e by b equals to l1 by l2 okay so now from the known equations so this is my equation 3 so now from the known parameter so we know my emf of the cell e equals to i into r plus r and uh, potential v equals to i into r this is from your ohm's law this is from your emf of the cell so if i'm going to connect these two values in this equation so i can simply write i times r plus r divided by i into r equals to l1 by l2 so this i and this i gets cancelled so i'm going to write 1 plus r by r equals to l1 by l2 so i may write r equals to l1 by l2 minus 1 into r so if i know the value of l1 and l2 from the experiment if I know the value of capital R from the resistance box, then I can calculate the, the internal resistance of the cell. So internal resistance is nothing but this is a positive terminal, this is a negative terminal. So the resistance between the positive and negative terminal, it's called internal resistance of the cell. So using potentiometer, we can find the internal resistance of the cell as well as the EMF of the cell. So why we prefer potentiometer over voltmeter so potentiometer it's a highly sensitive device which can measure very small potential difference so how to increase the sensitivity of the potentiometer so if you want to increase the sensitivity of the potentiometer so we should decrease the potential gradient so the sensitivity increases if you want to increase my sensitivity of the potentiometer my potential gradient should be decreases so which means k equals to v by l so if you want to decrease my potential gradient my length of the potentiometer should increases my l should be increases if i increase my l my potential gradient decreases my potential gradient decreases means my sensitivity of the potential metal gets increases sir what is the another way by varying the rheostat value i can vary the current through the 
potentiometer. So by decreasing the current through the potentiometer, I can increase the sensitivity of the galvanometer. So one is if you want to increase my sensitivity, I have to increase my L value and uh, I have to decrease decrease the amount of current decrease the current so this is how we can increase the sensitivity of the potentiometer so the next question what type of wire they are using they are using copper they are using aluminium no they are using the special material is called magnanin so the potentiometer from length from a to b we are using the material is called magnanin so magnanin sir so, magnanin it's a alloy it's a combination of 84 percentage of copper and 12 percentage of manganese and uh, around 4 percentage of nickel so it's a alloy why we prefer manganin so manganin having low temperature coefficient alpha and uh, high specific resistance high specific resistance sir what is specific resistance so my rho equals to r how can i write this so if i have a specific resistance is nothing but it's a resistance of the uh, conductor of unit area of cross section and unit length so my r equals to rho l by a therefore my r equals to rho equal to r into a by l so if i take l equal to 1 and area of cross section is 1 then my rho equals to r so the s unit of specific resistance is my ohm meter so specific resistance is nothing but my resistance of the conductor of unit area of cross section and unit length so this is why we are using magnanin as a wire in the potentiometer so i just stop at this point if you like this video share with your friends and subscribe your subscribe our channel to get the regular updates thanks for watching if you have any feedbacks give in the comments